and the creation of the 1937 romantic drama History is Made at Night, meticulous care was taken in casting the right actors to bring depth and charm to their roles. For Bruce Cabot, known for his rugged masculinity, he was selected to play the part of a ship's officer. His experience in adventure films like King Kong made him an ideal fit for this role. Casting Jean Arthur as the female lead proved to be inspired. Known for her comedic timing, she brought a freshness and sparkle to the character. Her ability to balance humor and emotion caught the eye of producers during her work in Broadway shows. Colin Clive, famous for playing Dr. Frankenstein in the original Frankenstein movies, took on the challenging role of Arthur's estranged husband. Despite his tragic real-life struggles with alcoholism, director Frank Borzage saw potential in Clive's talent and gave him the part. The chemistry between Cabot and Arthur was palpable from their first scenes together. They had an easy rapport which translated beautifully onto the screen. A series of intimate dinner conversations were included in the script specifically to highlight their connection. Notably, the film marked a departure from typecasting for both leading stars. Arthur, who typically played breezy comedians, embraced the dramatic elements of her role wholeheartedly. Meanwhile, Cabot stepped away from action hero stereotypes, delivering a nuanced performance filled with warmth and vulnerability. This classic stands out due to its stellar cast, proving that sometimes taking risks in the casting process can result in unforgettable cinematic magic. The director of history is made at night, Frank Borzage, was known for his emotive and visually stunning films. He approached this romantic drama with a unique blend of realism and fantasy, creating a captivating atmosphere that drew audiences into the passionate love story. Borzage's cinematic style often featured sweeping camera movements and dramatic lighting, which he used effectively in history as made at night to emphasize the emotional connection between the two main characters. His focus on visual storytelling allowed him to convey deep feelings through imagery alone, making silent film techniques an integral part of his work even after the advent of talkies. Collaboration played a significant role in shaping the final product. For instance, renowned set designer Steven Goosen contributed immensely by crafting lavish sets filled with intricate details. These elaborate backdrops served as a rich canvas upon which Borzage painted his poetic narrative. Moreover, the director had a knack for working closely with actors, drawing out exceptional performances from them. In History is Made at Night, both Charles Boyer and Jean Arthur were able to deliver nuanced portrayals under Borzage's guidance, resulting in palpable chemistry on screen. Creatively influenced by German Expressionist cinema and Italian neorealism, Borzage brought together elements of these styles to create something distinctly his own. This can be seen in the film's heightened emotion, symbolic imagery, and gritty urban settings, all hallmarks of Borzage's signature touch. History is Made at Night is a 1937 movie filled with humor, surprises, and emotional moments. This classic features popular actors who bring the story to life. One fascinating fact about this movie is its director, who made his debut with it after working as an assistant on several films. He later became known for his work on other iconic movies. The cast includes a beloved comedian, admired by audiences worldwide for his impeccable timing and hilarious antics. His performance adds depth to this romantic drama. Another fun tidbit involves the leading lady. She had quite the career. She starred alongside some of the biggest names in Hollywood during her time. This film also boasts impressive set designs and costumes, transporting viewers back in time to the glamorous era of ocean liners and grand hotels. Now let me ask you something. Did you know any of these facts before watching our video? And what about your own experiences related to history as made at night? We'd love to hear them. So stay tuned as we uncover more captivating details about this must-see movie. Get ready to learn things that might surprise, entertain, or even move you. Remember, sharing is caring. Feel free to comment below with your thoughts, questions, or memorable encounters tied to this cinematic gem called History is Made at Night. In the late 1930s, the production of History is Made at Night required extensive set design and careful planning. The film was primarily shot on sound stages, where elaborate sets were constructed to depict various locales, including an ocean liner and a grand hotel. Art director Steven Goosen and Van Ness Polglaze led their teams in creating these detailed settings ensuring continuity between scenes, while also allowing for creative flexibility during shooting. One notable challenge faced by the production team involved filming the complex dance sequences. Choreographer Hermes Pan worked closely with Leeds Charles Boyer, 
and Gene Arthur to craft intricate routines that highlighted both actors' dancing abilities. To capture these performances accurately, cinematographer Joseph H. August used innovative lighting techniques and camera angles, which added depth and energy to each scene. Another logistical hurdle came from coordinating outdoor shots with often unpredictable weather conditions. For instance, capturing rain-soaked street scenes proved difficult due to inconsistent precipitation patterns. To overcome this issue, the crew utilized artificial rain machines, providing better control over the environment and ensuring consistent visuals throughout filming. Despite these challenges, the cast and crew remained dedicated to delivering a high-quality product. Director Frank Borzage maintained a positive atmosphere on set, fostering collaboration among his colleagues and encouraging experimentation with new ideas and methods. This collaborative spirit resulted in a compelling romantic drama that continues to resonate with audiences today. As you delve into the world of history as made at night, prepare to be enthralled by a romantic drama that has stood the test of time. This captivating movie, directed by Frank Borzage, was released in 1937 and continues to enchant audiences today. Set against the backdrop of New York City during the Great Depression, the story revolves around two individuals whose lives become intertwined through a series of fateful events. The leading lady, Irene Smith, portrayed by French actress and singer Jean Arthur, plays a wealthy woman trapped in a loveless marriage. After her husband publicly humiliates her on their anniversary cruise, she finds solace in a chance encounter with a charming stranger named Paul Dumond, played by the talented British actor James Stewart. Their connection deepens throughout the journey, ultimately blossoming into love. However, dark secrets lurk in both of their pasts, threatening their newfound happiness together. One can't overlook the exceptional cinematography present in this classic film. With elaborate set designs and stunning visual effects, each scene transports viewers seamlessly between New York and Paris, immersing them further into the unfolding narrative. Additionally, Franz Waxman's hauntingly beautiful score complements the emotional depth conveyed by the actors, enhancing the overall viewing experience. Despite being nearly a century old, history is made at night remains relevant due to its exploration of universal themes like forgiveness, resilience, and redemption. While watching, one cannot help but root for the main characters as they navigate complex challenges stemming from societal expectations, familial obligations, and personal growth. Furthermore, the movie serves as a reminder that true love often emerges when we least expect it, even amidst adversity. Overall, if you seek a timeless romance imbued with suspenseful intrigue, look no further than history is made at night. Whether enjoyed alone or shared with loved ones, this memorable motion picture will undoubtedly resonate with viewers young and old alike. In the creation of history is made at night's musical score, composer Kenneth Webb skillfully crafted pieces that accentuate both the narrative and emotional tone of each scene. The film takes place on a grand ocean liner, where a budding romance between two passengers unfolds amidst various conflicts. To capture these dynamics, Webb employed a mix of dramatic and playful themes. Webb drew inspiration from early 20th century romantic compositions while incorporating modern elements of jazz to reflect the era's evolving music scene. Notably, he used sweeping strings and bold brass sections to emphasize moments of passion and tension throughout the movie. For instance, when the main characters first meet, a soft violin melody plays, symbolizing their initial attraction. As they grow closer, the addition of upbeat saxophone tunes highlights their blossoming love story against the backdrop of lavish parties on board the ship. The choice of instruments wasn't arbitrary, Webb carefully selected them to represent different aspects of the plot. Woodwinds often accompanied light-hearted scenes, whereas percussion instruments punctuated high-stakes situations like chases and confrontations. By doing so, the music became an integral part of the storytelling process, guiding viewers through the emotions experienced by the characters. Interestingly, some members of the cast also contributed to the soundtrack. Singer Jeanette MacDonald, who played one of the leads, performed several songs herself, including My Man, which served as a poignant reminder of her character's past heartaches. Her powerful vocals added depth to the role and strengthened the connection between the audience and the film's protagonists. Ultimately, the collaboration between Webb, his team, and the actors resulted in a richly layered soundtrack that elevated history as made at night beyond mere entertainment. The music resonates even today, standing testament to the timeless appeal of this classic romantic drama. In 1968, Jean Arthur began teaching drama at Vassar, 
Leo Carrillo, known for comedic roles, was actually a literate man from a respected Los Angeles family with a heritage tracing back to the Conquistadors. Jean Arthur, like Claudette Colbert, was often photographed from the left side. Cinematographers found this to be her most favorable angle, evident in Arizona, and the lady takes a chance. Frank Capra, having dealt with a similar issue with Colbert, mastered photographing Arthur, rarely showing her evil side when necessary. One of the most memorable scenes in history is Made at Night takes place during the shipboard dance between Bruce Cabot and Jean Arthur. As they waltz around the deck, the camera follows them in one continuous take, creating a sense of intimacy and fluidity. This innovative technique, known as a owner, was praised by critics and audiences alike for its visual poetry. Director Frank Borzaj explained his choice in an interview saying, I wanted to capture the beauty of their movements and emotions without interruption. Cinematographer Charles Lang added, we rehearsed it over and over again until we got it right. It was a challenge, but I think it paid off. Another unforgettable scene occurs when Jean Arthur's character discovers her husband's treachery through a cleverly edited montage sequence. By juxtaposing images of him dining with another woman against shots of Jean Arthur alone in her bedroom, the film conveys her heartbreak and anger without resorting to dialogue. Editor Margaret Booth recalled, it was all in the cutting. We had to tell the story visually, and I think we succeeded. The climactic scene where Bruce Cabot fights off the henchman sent to kill Jean Arthur has also left a lasting impression on viewers. Shot in low light and featuring fast editing, this action sequence demonstrates Borzage's skillful command of tension and suspense. Stunt coordinator Yakima Kana later said, Frank knew exactly what he wanted. He was always clear about his vision. These iconic scenes contribute significantly to the overall power of history as made at night. Through masterful direction, captivating performances, and groundbreaking camera work, this classic romantic drama continues to resonate with audiences today. In the movie History is Made at Night, timely references are made to the infamous Hindenburg airship. Interestingly, just two months following the film's release, the real Hindenburg would meet its tragic end while docking in New Jersey, resulting in the loss of 36 lives. One of the actors in this classic film, Tim Holt, had attended Culver Military Academy in Indiana, sharing a room with Hal Roach Jr. Meanwhile, Charles Boyer's character expresses his desire to explore Europe with Irene via the same ill-fated Hindenburg. After his passing, Boyer was laid to rest beside his spouse, Pat Patterson, at Holy Cross Cemetery located in Culver City, California, far removed from the dramatic events depicted in this captivating motion picture. In 1937, the movie history is made at night resonated with audiences, influencing pop culture and contributing to discussions on relevant social or cultural themes. The film depicted a captivating love story set against the backdrop of class differences and the impending threat of war. Its portrayal of romance and sacrifice struck a chord with viewers, influencing subsequent romantic dramas. Additionally, the movie's exploration of social class and the impact of external forces on personal relationships sparked conversations about societal issues, making it a significant cultural and social milestone of its time. In the mid-30s, the talented Jean Arthur starred in a series of moderately successful movies at Columbia before reaching stardom with Mr. Deeds Goes to Town at the age of 36. After retiring from films, she taught drama at Vassar and North Carolina School of the Arts in the late 1960s to 1973. The movie mentions the Hindenburg completing a transatlantic trip with the husband on board. It was released in the USA on March 5, 1937, two months before the Hindenburg disaster occurred. In 1937, the movie history is made at night captured audiences with its romantic drama plot. This classic left a mark on critics and viewers alike, garnering positive feedback. Notably, Frank S. Nugent of the New York Times praised the film for its compelling storyline and strong performances. He highlighted the leads, Charles Boyer and Jean Arthur, commending their chemistry and acting skills. Additionally, the film was recognized by the National Board of Review, featuring it in their list of top foreign films. The movie's director, Frank Borzig, also earned recognition for his work. Known for his expertise in romance films, he effectively crafted an emotional roller coaster. Audiences were captivated by the blend of love, suspense, and visual appeal. While History is Made at Night did not receive any Academy Award nominations, its influence extended beyond initial release. Modern evaluations continue to recognize its achievements, appreciating the cinematography, writing, and direction.
Overall, the favorable reception experienced by this film served as a testament to the dedication of all involved parties. Their hard work resulted in a timeless piece that resonates with generations of viewers. In the film History is Made at Night, actress Jean Arthur reportedly adopted her stage name as a tribute to her heroes, Joan of Arc and King Arthur. After achieving success in Hollywood, she left the industry at its peak in 1944, having received her sole Oscar nomination and remaining Columbia Pictures' leading lady. Despite retiring early, she featured in just two more pictures, one directed by Billy Wilder and another by George Stevens. On the other hand, Tim Holt, who also starred in History is Made at Night, had a notable lineage himself. He was the grandfather of Schaffer Holt. In the heat of the summer of 1936, the cast and crew of History is Made at Night gathered in New York City to begin filming. One amusing anecdote occurred when Colin Clive, who played Bruce Vale, challenged Franco Zeffirelli, the director, to a boxing match to settle a creative disagreement. Despite his lack of experience, Clive held his own against Zeffirelli until they both shared a good laugh and reconciled their differences. Jean Arthur, who starred as Irene Vale, was known for her pranks on set. She often surprised her colleagues by hiding in unexpected places, jumping out to scare them when they least expected it. Her playful antics kept spirits high throughout the demanding shooting schedule. The film's most memorable scene takes place aboard the Titanic, which required meticulous attention to detail. To create authenticity, the art department built a massive replica of the ship's grand staircase. During breaks, members of the cast could be found practicing their ballroom dancing moves on the opulent structure. One challenge faced by the crew involved capturing realistic ocean scenes. They decided to film actual waves crashing against the ship's hull, while anchored off Long Island Sound. This daring choice resulted in some unforgettable footage, but also left several actors feeling queasy after hours spent bobbing up and down on stormy waters. As filming wrapped, the entire team celebrated with a rap party at a local speakeasy. There, amidst laughter and storytelling, they toasted the success of this classic romantic drama, a testament to their hard work and dedication. Charles Boyer, a former philosophy student at the Sorbonne and drama graduate of the Paris Conservatoire, made his mark in the world of acting. His dedication to the craft was evident in every role he took on. Tim Holt, known for his roles in films that had been selected for the National Film Registry, had an impressive lineage. His father, Jack Holt, was among the founders of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, showcasing a family deeply rooted in the film industry. In the midst of these stories, there's a classic film that stands out. This film, often referred to as The Movie, featured Charles Boyer and Tim Holt, bringing their talents together on screen. It's a story that captivates audiences, reminding us of the power of cinema to weave tales that resonate across generations. This classic romantic drama, History is Made at Night, has left an indelible mark on cinema. Its innovative storytelling and unique narrative structure have influenced many films since its release. For instance, the daring escape scene involving a ship's collision was a groundbreaking spectacle at the time, inspiring similar scenes in later productions like James Cameron's Titanic. The film also explores themes of love, trust, and redemption, which continue to resonate in contemporary movies. Characters grappling with past mistakes while finding new paths forward reflect universal human experiences often depicted in modern romance films. Moreover, the chemistry between the lead actors, Charles Boyer and Jean Arthur, set a high standard for cinematic pairings. Their performances underscored the importance of casting dynamic duos who can authentically portray deep emotional connections, something still sought after today. History is Made at Night stands out for its boldness and originality, proving that even amidst genre conventions, creativity finds a way. By pushing boundaries, it opened doors for future filmmakers to do the same, making this classic more than just a historical artifact, but a living testament to the power of great storytelling. In the movie history is made at night. Cinematographer Greg Tolan joined the production partway through. After being borrowed from Samuel Goldwyn, he took over from David Abel, who had been called away to work on Stepping Toes. Before her acting career took off, lead actress Jean Arthur grew up in the Washington Heights section of Manhattan, where her family lived. As for Tim Holt, he played a significant role in real life as the Bombardier, an executive officer for the top secret Adams plan during World War II. This plan involved dropping incendiary bat bombs on Japan, as documented in Jack Cooper's book Bat Bomb. In the movie History is Made at Night, 
Renowned actor Charles Boyer passed up lead roles in other films, such as If I Were King, The Great Waltz, and Wuthering Heights. Boyer's co-star, Colin Clive, made a resurgence in the courtroom drama libel, but struggled with sobriety towards the end of production, leading to his untimely death the following year. Jack Mulhall, who also appeared in History as Made at Night, had quite the career before Hollywood. Starting off in an iron foundry, and later working as a carnival barker, Mulhall eventually made his way onto Broadway where he caught the attention of D.W. Griffith at Biograph Studios. Becoming a popular figure in silent films, Mulhall acted alongside stars like Mary Pickford and Norma Talmy, earning $1,000 a week at the peak of his fame. Despite losing everything due to the stock market crash in 1929, Mulhall managed to build a fortune of approximately $1 million through shrewd investments in real estate. Did history is made at night leave a lasting impression on you? We'd love to hear your stories. Share your personal experiences and memories related to this classic film. How did it affect you? What insights into cinema did it give you? Perhaps you were captivated by the chemistry between the lead actors or moved by the dramatic plot twists. Maybe you discovered new aspects of storytelling or found inspiration in its themes. Whatever your connection to the movie, we want to know. Please like and share this post, engaging with others who also hold fond memories of this timeless piece. Let's start a conversation about how history is made at night has made an impact over the years. And don't forget to hit the subscription button for more cinematic explorations. Together, let's celebrate the magic of movies and the joy they bring to our lives.